So the question for you, brother, is how long is you gonna keep walking on train tracks? Should a person walk on train tracks and and no. and train and trains um go down that track? No. So now, brother, you're walking on train tracks, and brothers keep coming out here constantly yelling, constantly screaming. You hear them, you 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 agree with them, right? And you say, yeah, I know I'm on train tracks, but hey, man, I gotta get home. You know what I mean? No, yeah. we're telling you that it's another path to get home, brother. That you don't got to walk on the train tracks, brother. Yeah. So get off the train tracks and turn to the Lord in fear and sincerity. Because the Lord is killing people out here, brother. Even though it's God and all the niggas I be hanging with, I can't save you from drowning if we both stuck on the sinking ship. I don't want to be no plug, that's all they talking about. I don't want to be no thug, that's all they talking about. I don't want to be no hitter, that's all they talking about. Unruly come for the feeble minded. Support the weak. Do what? Support, support the, the weak. weak. We gotta support our like hold up. How you gonna say that you a body, but if a brother is weak and you're not supporting him, then you a dead body. Girl. Why? Because if one part is dead, the rest of the body gonna die. Right. The rest of the body gonna die. That's why we love each other out here, man. Right? So all y'all, y'all can do what does say if your heart feel. Right? right? And that's contrary to what you teach the people. Because then you say, don't believe in your heart. But then you do that. Right? right? Our people's hypocrites. And those were the main ones who Yahweh Shah had a problem with. Those who are hypocrites. They tell you the right thing to do, but those themselves are not doing it. Right. 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 Uh, see that one render evil for evil unto any man. Oh, so I can skip the line. Support the weak. Come on. Be patient toward all men. No, rush them. Be patient, patient toward, toward all, all men. men. Right, we love our brothers and we be patient. See that none bring the evil for evil unto any man. Come on. No but, evil for evil. No, you did me wrong, so the only way is for me to do you back wrong. Because that's how I gotta be. Right? Eye for eye. Yahweh shall say no. We gotta have mercy. To whom? Give of much mercy to whom shall receive much mercy. Right, and right. a lot of y'all niggas, y'all not gonna receive a lot of mercy, even though you got fringes on. Come on. Right. God, see that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good. But follow it as what? Which is good, Come on. both among yourselves and to all men. And to all men, and to all our men, right? Santa Claus is gonna die right. in the chimney. That's what's gonna happen to him. He's gonna die in the chimney. That's right. right. He's gonna get torn up. Somebody gonna light him on fire and he's gonna die in the chimney. That's what's gonna happen. If y'all want y'all to let Santa Claus slide right. down, right? Y'all got big fat man coming to y'all house. Y'all out of y'all damn mind. Right? So read what you got. Second entrance. Second entrance, chapter 7 and verse 47. Now I now I understand that the world comes slow. Now I understand that the world should come will bring joy to only a few. Hold on, read that again. Now I understand that the world to come will bring joy to only a few. So a lot of y'all think that a lot of y'all think that the world to come is going to be for y'all. But y'all living your best life now. Right. right. That's why a nigga over there with high heels. Right. right. This is how it happens. See that? Right. You know what I mean? Because y'all yeah. living your best yeah. life. What's up, brother? Yeah, I just talking about you my friend. Kind. And that, that's what we try. We try to show that we love our people out here, brother. We tired of the violence. We tired of the hate. We tired of white people coming to our community, telling us to stop killing each other. We need to come to our communities and say, "Hey, man, listen, I love you, bro, and I don't give a damn about that twenty dollars you owe me. You know what I mean? I forgive you, brother. Right? Right? I forgive you, brother. That's what we need to do, and we need to change our ways, brother. And we get because why the white man not going to Asian communities and saying, "Yo, y'all gotta stop hating each other." Why he gotta come to blacks and Hispanics? Right? Why? Why? Because we ignorant. Right? And we like little children. Right? And we, and we, and really because we don't know who we are. Right? Uh, drop that. Let me get Isaiah. Isaiah 1 and 3. Right? We don't know who we are. But the Lord, but the Lord is showing us who we are today. Right? Because he put the spirit in some men to show you. Brother, read, bro, brother, hear this one scripture, brother. Hear this one scripture. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 1. And verse 3. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, the ox knows his owner. Right, the ox. The ox you know what the ox is? The animal ox? Yeah. Right, that's a stubborn-ass animal. So the Lord says that he still knows who owns it, even though he's stubborn. Come on. And the ass his master's crib. And the ass is talking about a jackass. That's a dumb animal. 
but the Lord says, but he still know where he come from. Come on. But Israel, but, who? but, but Israel, Israel, Israel is a group of people. And guess what, brother? It's not talking about them people with curls on the sides of the head. It's talking about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It said, but Israel, come on. Israel who? doeth who? not no. know. Come on. My people doeth uh, not consider. See. Right. So even though the Lord used two animals, one being stubborn, one being a dumbass, one still knows who, the, who, who he belongs to, and another knows where his home is. Right. Yeah. Hispanics don't know where their home is. Blacks don't know where their home is. Native Americans don't know where their home is. So the Lord is comparing us to dumb animals. Right. Why? Because we don't even consider. Right? We come out here. He says the Lord is considered. The Lord. No. Read that again. Uh, it says Israel. But Israel, my people, do us not consider. But Israel do us not consider. Right? We don't consider. We don't consider who is our God. We think that this dude is our God. Y'all don't got to pick it up. But, but, but this, we think that this is our God. Right? Blanco. A damn demon. Right? Listen, listen, bro. Let me tell you this. I went, I went into a um, Dominican store. Right? They, they are dark-skinned people in the store. They had an angel, an angel Michael, uh, was put on Satan. Satan was dark-skinned, but Michael looked like him. But everybody in the store had skin like you or darker, and you're darker than him. But that's crazy, though. Why, why would you have, why would you depict the devil as being a dark skinned man, but then the angel Michael as being a pale man, as being the way? Come on. This book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 4. First Maccabees 3 and 48. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect, I even call thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. Right, we have not known the Lord. So the Lord, the Lord surnamed thee. Right, the Lord surnamed us. Let me get uh, 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 Second Samuel seven to twenty-three. Right, it's like it. But yeah, that, this is what we're going into, brother. Because a lot of the calamities that happened in our life was because of our hatred, right, towards the Lord. Right, we hate the Lord, so the Lord put the spirit on us to hate each other. Because what? What does it make? What does it make to have sense to hate your own people? I'm asking, you, brother. Does that even make sense? To hate your own people. How are you gonna be racist to your own people? Right? What you got, brother? First Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. This is these uh white people, right? They laid open the book of the law, our book, right? Come on. Wherein the heathen have sought to paint the likeness of their images. They opened up our book and painted the likeness of their images. That's why Hitler, Hitler was a Jew. Do you know that? Well, so he that was to be correct, huh? Where's that coming from? That that, that's come from Maccabees, the book of Maccabees, which is in the Bible, right? So this is the Bible, and you see Maccabees right here. So it's still in there. This is just because the Protestants took this out, right? The it's Protestants. Like, it's like, it's like. If you, if you, if you um, get a Catholic Bible, it's in a Catholic Bible. All those, all those, yeah. all those um, hidden books. Right. If you get a King James 1611, which the brother got, it's in there. Right, so I, I could have read, and the brother could have read it right from that, that Bible, and it would have still said it. So that, that's part of the thing, brother, is that they looked, they opened up our book and painted the likeness of their image. I like how I was saying about Hitler. Hitler was Jewish, but yet still he was putting Jewish people in furnaces. Why? Because he told them that it's the rise of the white man and that y'all should not be reading a black and Hispanic book. He compared the Bible to being a black and Hispanic book. And he said, y'all shouldn't be reading it because it's our time to rule. Y'all want to go read that nigga book and then he burnt them. All praises to the Most High God for that, right? right? That he didn't burn more. So the whole thing is this, right? The whole thing is that he said that this was them. He said that that they, that they were white people and that the Bible belonged to us, right? So this is why we got to turn to the Lord in fear and sincerity. So I want to ask you about this one question that the Lord got right here in uh, 2 Samuel 7 and 23. This is the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 7 and verse 23. And, and what one nation in the earth is like thy people? And that's a question for you, brother. That's a question. We saying that God's chosen people is blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read it again, bro. Done. Verse 23. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people? And what, and what one nation in the earth is like blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? That's a question for you, brother. That's coming out of the Bible. What one nation is like? Is Asians like blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Africa? Huh? Africa? 
No, rephrase, I'm saying, rephrase the question. This, the Bible says what one nation in the earth is like thy people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's the Israelites, right? So who is comparable to us? It's white people? It's white people? Can you can you say, hold up, but white people, you can put them aside blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and they'll stand the test. Right? I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you how no nation compared to us. We was in five hundred years of slavery, right? Our our people, right? We was in five hundred years of bondage. Our people, rather not in foolishness, in Islam, in all these other religions, we still believe that there's a God, right? The white man, if he was enslaved for 20 years, he would believe that it's not no God. How do I know this? He don't believe it's a God now, right? right? right. And nobody had him in slavery as long as we've been in slavery. Right. Why? Because he's the biggest atheist on the earth. Now, blacks and Spanish just now turn to atheists in the last 20 years. But usually, you ask the atheist, it's not blacks and Hispanics. It's usually the white man. So the white man should be the biggest believer in the, in, in the God. Why? Because he should figure, hmm, God got to be on my side. You know what I mean? He enslaving them. You know what I mean? But he, but, but I'm, I'm set free, right? So you would think that he would be the biggest believer in God, but he is the bigger hater of God. Right. Why? Because he wants to be God, according to the Bible. That's why he painted himself to be Jesus. That's right. You see that in 2 Thessalonians. Right, it's talking about him, right? See, people think that it's an antichrist when you come and grow up to be a baby. No, it's talking about a race of people, that they're the antichrist. And all of our people that don't want to believe that, that our Messiah is coming back, right? So to deliver our people and our people only. Right. So brother, now, now the question for you is, right, how long is you going to keep walking on train tracks and brothers keep telling you that you're walking on train tracks? How long are you going to keep going there? Can I find myself again? Uh, I'm going to let you figure this about. So the question for you, brother, is how long is you going to keep walking on train tracks? Should a person walk on train tracks and and, no. and train and trains um, go down that track? No. So now, brother, you're walking on train tracks and brothers keep coming out here constantly yelling, constantly screaming, you hear them, you 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 agree with them, right? And you say, yeah, I know I'm on train tracks, but hey, man, I got to get home. You know what I mean? No, yeah. we're telling you that it's another path to get home, brother, that you don't got to walk on the train tracks, brother. So get off the train tracks and turn to the Lord in fear and sincerity because the Lord is killing people out here, brother. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6, for thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Brother, bro, brother, you got kids? Yeah. Now, when you say your kids are special? Yeah. Sure. So do you know the definition of special? Yeah. Right, and get that on your phone. Ah, get that on your phone. All right, brother. So, so now we're going to get you the definition of special and see what that is. Do that again. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. He chosen. So the Lord created all races on the earth, but he created them all and said, this is the one I want. Just the same thing that you did, brother. You, I'm pretty sure you got different coats, different hoodies, but you said, this is the one I want for Saturday. Now, I think this is going to go right with my life, right? You decided that pick. So why can't the Lord decide? Right? The Lord chosen you, brother. Come on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. To be a what? A special be people. Get how you mean that, uh, that definition real quick. All right, now, this is the, uh, brother. This is the definition of special, brother. Come on. Better. What? Better. better. So the Bible says that you're better. Come on. Greater. What? Greater. The Bible says that you're greater than other races, brother. Come on. Or otherwise different from what is usual. So, brother, if your children is really special, right, who is going to be their biggest example in life? MTV? No. YouTube? No. You. Yeah. You they dad. Yeah. You going to be their biggest example. So, if you're not treating yourself special, how they going to know that they special? Yeah. You got to be the biggest example, bro. Right? Because, look, listen. That, that's like how I was telling my brother when um, his son was smoking, right? How you gonna tell him to stop smoking when you smoke? Yeah. You a hypocrite, right? That's why he gonna look at you. And I mean, how you gonna tell me that you trying to save my life when you not trying to save yours? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean? So get yourself off the train tracks and this way the rest of your family will be off the train tracks. Because why? They following you, bro. Your kids following you on that train tracks. And guess what? The light's coming down the tunnel, bro. Right. 
Thank you. You better choose ye this day. Y'all be safe. Stay easy. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. Above all people. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We are above every other race that are upon the face of the earth. Right? And we don't give a damn about who like it, don't like it, hurt their feelings, go write a book. Don't do that. Right, right, and let's see if it sells. Right, I'll read that real quick. We are kings and priests, I gotta shine when I maneuver. We be in the streets, y'all niggas hide behind computers. We trying to escape the parable of sour grapes, so if you wanna keep his grace, you better seek your Howard's face.